Okay. Are we, we rolling? M V <laughs> Brutale <laughs> One Thousand R. Do you like that? You look impressed. So, so we're here again on the MV stand. This time we are looking at their epic, hyper naked, Brutale 1000RR. Um, what a machine, what a machine, Aaron. It's beautiful, again, isn't it? You know, again, you, you, like you just said, you know, we're back on the MV stand. We're interested in beautiful bikes. Uh, and yeah, this is, this, is, this is fantastic. This for me is less beautiful than the Super Veloce, for example. Oh. It's more about a super naked, aggressive, but also, you know, great styling. Well, you say super naked, but actually, um, th this is, I think, as I understand it, the first naked bike that has uh, passed through that 200 horsepower barrier. And that this was coined as the first hyper naked. Okay. So this one makes, I think, 208 horsepower. Wow. So it's just... Bonkers. I don't even know how you ha hold on to it. You imagine giving it the, the full happy handle. Well, I think it's too fast. Well, I mean... It is too fast. But you the, say that, but Ducati... All, all, of the, all of these super nakeds are too fast, end of. But for me, this bike, you know, an MV is about motorcycle art. It's yeah. about um, it's about doing things that are over the top. It's a, you know, it's like, it's just Italian. It's too much. It's too, too probably too much money. It's probably too much power. Yeah, yeah, well, it's probably looks too good. You know, everything about it is, is, is you know, it's a showpiece. Yeah, and, and I mean, look, we, we, we spoke about the fact that there may be some potential shortcomings of these bikes, but if you wanted to get the, make the biggest impression if you rolled up to a bike meet, this is the bike. And I agree, the Super Veloce in terms of pure kind of aesthetic uh, sort of pleasure and beauty, amazing. But in terms of purpose, if you wanted a bike that makes a statement, this thing is just insane. It is, it's insane. I, I, for me, as I mentioned briefly before, you know, this is the MV offer us an example of what you can achieve with a basic format of a motorcycle. And you know, maybe it doesn't suit everybody's tastes, but most of the people I've seen on this stand just cannot get enough of these bikes. I mean, we're here super early. There's already, I mean, we're not, it's not even open. There's 20, 30, 40 people here. God only knows what it's going to be like come, you know, 12 o'clock today. But look at the, we're just shooting this amazing video and look at the <laughs> tail section on it. The lighting is just, that's him, that's him off. I love right, so, <laughs> Probably the highlight for me on this bike is the way that they've done the rear light section. Oh. Really different. I don't think I've seen a light section like that no. before. No. They just have some amazing way of just yeah. making, yeah, it's motorcycle art. That, I hope, that, they're, I hope they're paying their designer a ton of cash because yeah. that guy's worth every penny right. Well, and you know what, we're talking about, um, you know, Euro 5 and we're talking about like European compliance and all that kind of stuff. And you see yeah. exhaust get bigger and bigger and just like, I mean, it's GSX-R1000 exhaust. Oh. But I, I think I, mean, I, could, I could live inside I'm, of that I mean, exhaust. Go and have a look at that, the, the, uh, the new ZH2 exhaust and you... <laughs> <laughs> right, so, yeah, go on. Go, go and have a look at the ZH2 exhaust and the new Kawasaki. You think you could live in the Kawasaki's one? You could, you could start a family in the size of that, I think. Well, I think it you could go to um, war in it as a submarine. You could turn it into a submarine. It's, it's definitely not just an exhaust, it's a cannon. It's a bazooka. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's absolutely gigantic. It's like, it's like having an extra bike strapped to the side of your bike. <laughs> but, and, and yet somehow, these guys can make a 210 horsepower bike and make something look so, so epic at the rear. I mean, it's just, every, every angle this thing is just knockout, in my opinion. We love it. Of course it's an MV, it's got great components, it's got Olin yeah, suspension, yeah, yeah. Brembo brakes. Um, All the toys, suite yeah, of electronics. Launch control, quick shifter up and down. Yeah, yeah. So the motor is also, of course, an absolute barnstormer. Straight for 208 horsepower. So the engine's been lifted out of the F4 and essentially they've, they've inserted even more performance into it, walloped it into their naked variant and this is what you get as a result. Just How much? How much is it? Quanto es? It, it, I mean, it, 
it costs some money. And when I say some, I mean 40,000 euros. 40,000 euros? Yeah. Okay. And, and of course, but just like the beautiful Super Veloce Serie Oro, they're sold out. You can't get one. Having said that, there is another bike here that they have just told us is a concept, but it's got a price on it, the, the Brutale Rush, and that is 34 thousand euros although you won't be able to buy it until the middle of next year but again if you're here you must must come and have a look at that as well it is a stunning motorcycle as they all are um we could we could literally be here all day couldn't we i think so but we, we need to go and do some work so yeah. sorry okay. so look, i hope you've enjoyed that little video um please like please comment love to hear what you think about these new mv models Absolutely. especially this brutale 1000 rr um, please subscribe to the channel if you're not already and look out for the next videos. We're going to be bringing you all the latest and greatest for the 2020 uh, season. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we will see you next time.